Hello, Saints. It's Pastor Ginger. Uh, a few weeks ago, we heard from the Gospel of John in the 14th chapter that Jesus was sending to his disciples the Holy Spirit. And then this past Sunday was Pentecost Day when we celebrated the gift of the Holy Spirit who came as a rush of violent wind and the tongues of flame that appeared over the heads of the disciples as they spoke in every language as the Spirit gave them ability. And in the chapter uh, we read from John, uh, chapter 14, Jesus describes the Spirit as the Spirit of Truth. And I was thinking about the Spirit of Truth um, during this time because there is a lot of rhetoric flying around on every side um, about different things that are going on in the news, about protests and riots. Um, there is a lot of charged and heated language, and I was thinking about rhetoric. No matter what side you're trying to describe or trying to defend, rhetoric is very, very rarely truth, according to what Jesus would define as truth. Um, it is language that's usually formulaic. It's language that's usually passed down from person to person in order to prove a point or prove a, a case, uh, win an argument, and is very rarely uh, based on truth with a capital T. So if we are given the Holy Spirit as the spirit of truth, um, what is truth? That's the famous question that Pilate asks Jesus at his trial. What is truth? Well, if we think about um, the gift of truth as it comes from Jesus, it is to know ourselves, to know one another, and to know the world through the eyes of God and through the heart of God. In chapter 8 of John, Jesus says, If you continue in my word, then you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And people have repeated that phrase time and time again throughout history, the truth will make you free. Well, the truth is that we are loved, that we are created by God in the image of God, that we are redeemed by Christ through his sacrifice on the cross, and that all people are also made in the image of God. And so in a whirlwind of rhetoric and charged language, news and fake news and differing reports and competing um, news sources, if we stop and ask ourselves in the midst of all the chaos, what is truth? We remember the gift of Jesus Christ on the cross. He died so that all people, no matter of their color, race, gender, or creed, would be saved um, from the old ways and be brought into the new covenant, which means redemption, no matter what baggage we carry around with us, um, a new identity in Christ, um, and to be seen by God as his beloved and his created. And so if we want to put on the lens lenses of truth, um, we should see each other the way God sees us, no matter what side of a certain divide or argument the other person might be on. And if we are to speak uh, words of truth, our words should reflect that reality that all people are created in the image of God, beloved so much that God gave his only son to die for their sake. Um, and if we are to try to hear with the ears of truth, that means filtering out um, what the things that we know are not going to build up the body of Christ and instead of repeating them or reposting them or amplifying them, to try to neutralize them with the truth that we know comes only from God. So this week I encourage you to um, be people of the truth because in our hearts we all bear the spirit of truth.